data from the Prodigy study is going to be really important for nursing practice for a couple reasons. Uh, one is it will uh, make nurses aware that they are missing respiratory depression in their patients because of the lack of monitoring um, uh, electronic data that they need to do the identification of the, of the problem. The other thing it'll do is it, it's going to give nurses an instrument that will inform them on identifying the patients who are at highest risk. And thirdly, it is going to give hospitals the evidence that they need to justify uh, putting uh, continuous monitoring devices into the budget. A lot of healthcare providers are concerned about adoption of continuous technology in lower acuity settings such as general wards. If done correctly, the nursing staff can really find this to be a useful tool to help them care for patients. For example, if one patient is being continually monitored, that nurse can then direct the attention towards another patient who needs care, knowing that they'll be alerted if that particular other patient gets into trouble. Healthcare providers are sometimes concerned about adopting a new monitoring technology to a lower acuity setting, such as a general ward. Continuing monitoring, if done correctly and integrated into the workflow of the, of the healthcare providing team, can actually free up nurses to do other tasks. For example, if a patient is being monitored for respiratory depression, that nurse can then direct the attention towards another patient who might need complex nursing care, knowing that if that particular patient gets in trouble, he'll be alerted to help that patient.